Welcome back. Today, I bring to you a totally new segment of Stay Sprung called Rotor to Rotor, where I'll give a quick overview, then comparison of high-end custom pieces. Without further ado, here we have two of the three holy trinity of watch brands, the Nautilus 5711 by Patek Philippe and the Royal Oak Self-Winding by Audemars Piguet. Both designed by Gerald Genta, the Royal Oak was first released in 1972. Thought to be Patek's response to the successful Royal Oak, the Nautilus was produced in 75, but not released until 1976. The Nautilus is 40 millimeters wide and 8.3 millimeters thick. Exhibition case back showing the stamped and decorated 22 karat solid gold rotor, caliber 324, 45 hour power reserve, and 10 atmospheres water resistance. The Royal Oak 15400 is 41 millimeters and 9.8 millimeters thick with luminescent pink gold applied hour markers as well as hands. The exhibition case back gives a view of the caliber 3120, 60 hour power reserve and five atmospheres of water resistance, also featuring a 22 karat solid gold rotor. AP's astonishing seamless twin trigger clasp is a very nice touch in my opinion. The best bracelet and clasp combo on the market, design and look. Both the 5711 and 15400 bracelets have a slight taper towards the class, but the Nautilus wears extra slim despite a little added height by the diamonds. The AP, while not as slim, is still on the smaller side of the scale, but the bracelet of the Royal Oak is what takes the edge. Both pieces are solid 18 karat pink gold. Each using the micro setting technique are covered in pave set round diamonds. And the pair together totaling just over a quarter million dollars. If I had to choose one as my favorite, it would have to be the Royal Oak. For its octagon shape to the definition and lines, onto the bracelet and clasp, plus all of the details such as the unmatched finish only done by AP to even the solid gold screws in the bezel and also being the original holds some weight for me as well. Although I know the 5711 is the piece to have at the moment and the price on them keeps on rising, for me it's something about the AP. And with that, I would like to just say philanthropist, Maximus Decimus Meridius, platypus. Platypus? Just saying a bunch of big words. Because <laughs> a hundred thousand dollars in watches makes it sound different. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For seriously, which watch do you think is better? The Royal Oak or the Nautilus? Comment down below. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for more content. And oh yeah, stay sprung.